Hi, it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. Today is Wednesday, so we're going with another Aussie soap. So it's Aussie Wednesday, as, it, as we say, and the soap comes from Washpool, which is um, comes as a puck. You can get it as a sort of a, a soft creamy soap or as a, a firm puck like this, hard puck. I've got it as a puck. And the scent on this one is the citrus. So it's lemongrass, lime and lemon myrtle. Which is about medium strength off the puck. Now we're doing something a little bit different. Rather than just using the uh, leather off the, the soap, I'm going to make a super leather. Now a super leather is when you add a cream to a soap. And what I'm going to add is this old cream I have in my drawer. Come from Musco. Musco Real. It's a lavender scent so that should mix well. Lavender goes well with just about anything. So I'm going to mix that in as well. That will generate what we call a super leather. So I'll probably have a bowl full overflowing with um, leather after I'm finished. Now the brush we're going to use for that is a new brush from Alpha. Alpha Shaving. It's a lovely jade coloured handle with a 28mm Generation 4 knot, G4 knot. Very fine, soft knot, soft tips, bit of backbone, not a lot of backbone once you warm it up. But uh, I'll put that in the soak and I'll um, put my pre shave on, which is my shrinking verde soap, glycerin soap. We've activated charcoal. Just has a herbal soapy scent to it. Add some water to it. Okay. Leave that on my skin and beard. And we'll go to the other camera and produce the leather. Right, we're at the lathering station here. As you can see, I've already got the uh, wash pool soap squashed into the bottom. Now what we'll do, we'll generate a bit of paste first. With my brush. I'll just shake it out. Two, three shakes. The bowl I'm using today comes from Whispers from the Woods. It's a lovely porcelain Bowl. It's got the handle as you can see. I like the ones with the handles, that makes it, especially in the videos, it makes it easier for me to hang on. As you can see, it's already making a nice lather. It's a little bit bubbly. But Right, at this stage, before I start adding water, I'm going to add a bit of
screen. Now this is, I've had this cream for ages, probably six, seven years. <laughs> I can see I've got heaps of lava even before I've added water. Okay, we'll start adding water. Get the moisture up. Can't smell the lavender though. Maybe the lavender has dissipated a bit over the years. Been a lovely. How's it going? Let's see. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I might just do one more spray. We have a lovely um, shiny leather there. Beautiful. Looks pretty rich. We'll go with that. It still smells like um, a lemony, uh, woody smell from the probably from the lemon myrtle and the lemon grass. All right. We'll swap to the other camera. Alright, I've produced a nice lather, I'm just re moisturizing my face before I apply the lather. And my fingers are slippery, so I'll put a bit of alum on my fingers after handling the soap. Let's put up and see. Lovely, rich. Another beautiful. Wash pool. As I made a, a super leather, I'm not assessing the performance of wash pool, but wash pool is what I call a serviceable soap. It's I mean, just below a level two so for me, and could be a level two, but depending on how well you made your leather. But this super leather is really nice. I don't do it very often. But it's handy to do on the, um, on the lower end soaps, just to give them a little bit of a boost. Nice oh, level. It feels good on the skin. Lovely leather. Good solid um, scent coming off. 
I don't smell basically any lavender. Um, don't know what's happened to the lavender in that cream. I'll have to check it later. All right. Oh, the rose that we're using. I've got Rockwell 6C head on a generic wooden handle. I'm doing that to lighten the razor a little bit. And I've got plate four. To start with. And the blade I'm using is a feather blade on its third use, I think. Yeah, third use. Very nice. I've only got about a one and a half days growth, so I don't have a lot of growth. My beard grows pretty slow. I'm doing this fairly early in the morning. I normally do it a bit later. How's everybody going? Hope everybody's having a lovely day and a lovely week. The weather here has uh, gotten a bit cool for summer. Only going to be about 20 here today. Well, it feels good. Plenty of slickness. Very happy. Now I'm just spreading that around the leftovers. Put a bit of water back on. Yes. There's a lovely knot in this brush. The tips are very soft and luscious. And as you can see, it's got backbone as it springs back there. But the tips are soft and fine enough to give you that luscious luscious painting feel nice and the handles lovely got a nice natural grip on it at least for me I've got enough leather there to shade the whole body I think Right, across the ground, we'll stay with plate four. This is feeling very smooth with the feather blade on its third shave. Quite happy with the plate four. I haven't used plate four before, I normally use plate three.
I decided to try plate four because I was feeling plate three to be quite mild these days. Actually, I'm, I'm liking the wooden handle on the, the rock, rock wall. At least for me, that makes it feel lighter for me and more manageable. It is top, it does feel a little bit top heavy. Probably would be better with a slightly longer wooden handle. Stable leather, very rich, creamy. Not really dense, but certainly dense enough. Scoop that another bit. Now wash pool only use essential oils I believe in their soap so and they don't have a lot of ingredients um, I'll put that up there so we can see it the ingredient list about 10 ingredients if that now I'm on, still on plate four um, I might drop it down I'll swap the plate over to plate two for the last pass Just bear with me, don't take long. Right, there we go. Check the blade alignment, looks good. Yeah, that's a lot milder now. Feeling really nice with the two on the last pass. Don't feel like I'm gonna cause irritation.
there's plenty of residual on this super leather I've got. Absolutely a lot. I can shave without any <coughs> leather added. Oh, a weeper. Very nice. Let's feel for touch ups. Oh, it's plenty of residual. That's sure. Very slick. Very happy with this combination. Just a little bit along the, the jawline there. Couple of little weepers. Which is unexpected. I wouldn't have thought I'd get any weepers on a, on a plate too. Oh, I'll just um get underneath the glasses. Lovely feel on the skin on that soap. There is still a little bit here, but I won't chase it. I'm starting to get weepers already. So, um, I might have been better off with staying with plate four. We won't know. I'll try that next time. That feels good. Alright, rinse off with some cold water. Still a couple of weepers. Go around with the alum, see how we went. Did a little bit of irritation here. Stinging. Of course, we've got irritation around those weepers. 
will not irritate a bit of stinging, sorry. Wouldn't call it irritation. Actually, the skin feels nice. Just a few tingles here and there. Nothing really big sting. Yeah, that's fine. You can see I've got a lot of leather left over, so uh, and it's still got a good structure to it. So I'll put that on my face and go and have a shower. Still got that lovely lemon woody scent that you get from um, lemon grass and lemon myrtle. As you can see, there's good structure to the lather still. Lovely. shower and come back with a post shave. Right, back from the shower. And the skin feels lovely and smooth. That was a lovely shave. Those weepers look like they've closed up. So we're going over the post shave now. Bit of witch hazel. BBS on my cheeks and my normal areas uh, just fine, damn fine shave down here. So overall a damn fine shave. And we follow that up with a bit of Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream as my balm. With the eucalyptus and menthol. There was also menthol mixed in with that witch hazel. I like menthol, especially on the post. Beautiful. No irritations that I can see. The weepers seem to have closed. Now, oh, lovely. All right, we'll just go with the uh, my shaving products while I'm waiting for that uh, balm to absorb into the skin. The brush we use comes from Alpha. Alpha shaving. It's got the G4. Yeah, G4, I thought that was a hair coming out, but it's actually just a couple of hairs sticking up. G4 knot, 28 mil. Lovely soft tips and um, a bit of backbone. Lovely knot. Should suit most people. And the J handle is a lovely color. Beautiful. Really like that one. And the razor we used, we used the what was it? Rockwell, Rockwell 6C gunmetal head with a wooden handle to lighten it. It brings it. Brings the weight down 20 grams, so it's about um, what 70, 80, 80 grams. No, about 80 grams, I think. Um, what else we used? We used made a super leather from the wash pool um, lemon scent or 
lemon scent, lemon myrtle scent. And that's a tallow based soap without any palm oil products in it. And we mixed it in a bit of uh, Musto Real shaving cream, lavender. Although I couldn't smell the lavender when I mixed it in. I'll just have a nip. There is a um, lavender smell still in it, but it's very light. So maybe it's dissipated over the years. This tube is about, like I said, six, seven years old. But it still works well. And that lather produced was a lovely, rich lather. Uh, what else we use? We use the bowl. Lather and bowl we use came from whispers from the woods. Lovely porcelain bowl with the, the grooves in the bottom there. Makes lather really easy. Pre-shave. We're using the shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. <laughs> Glycerin soap there from Third A up in Queensland. And I think that's it. Okay, the final ingredient. Bit of clubman, clubman pinard. Love the scent on this. Alright, that's my shaving today. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on my next one.